Welcome to VidSwap.com. My name is Alex. I'd like to take just a few quick minutes to introduce you to your VidSwap.com account. So let's jump in and take a look. So the first thing I want to cover is the login. So let's pull a login screen up here. So what's really important to understand is that if you ever forget your login, because this happens a lot, it's easy. We've got so many logins that we're trying to deal with sometimes that it's easy to forget your login or have trouble. So when you're on the login screen, if you forget and you just don't know what that is, you can click on the forgot and then put in the email address that you've used for your VidSwap account, and then we'll send you an email to get your login reconfigured for you, reset. But other than that, just get logged in using the username or the email address that you had created and your password. And passwords are case sensitive. Okay, let's take a quick look at the dashboard. So when you're logged into VidSwap, you've got a bunch of apps here that you can use. The videos area is where all of your private videos that you might use for games, practice video, training videos, that's where those videos get stored. If you're part of a league, a conference exchange, or a larger uh, setup where all the videos are going into, which many of you are many of you are a part of the exchange format where if you're on pixelot and you've got pixelot cameras all those pixelots around a conference a league a state an area they're all pumping into an area in here so you guys can see all of your games highlights is where when you're pulling clips out you're making a film session or you're pulling out highlights, best plays of a player, or if you're an athlete pulling out your best plays, this is where those are created and stored, and you can manage those. Reviews is where you can create assignments that you're sending out to your players. So you can engage the players, have conversations inside of these assignments, and track how much your players are actually using them. The stats area is where you can see statistics across individual games or cumulative, right, across a whole season. The roster is probably one of the most important areas that we're going to jump in here in a second. This is where you're going to put all your players, all your coaches, to give them access to be able to log into their VidSwap account. Playbooks is where you can go in, create different plays, formations, play cards, set plays, all those types of visual things that you need. Documents is just a generic file sharing area if you want to upload any old documents, PDFs, things like that. The live area is when you're using VidSwap Replay, you could be filming with multiple angles into VidSwap Replay and then uploading that into your VidSwap account. This is kind of where all that happens and gets managed. Team schedules is where the actual game schedule that is either entered or we're importing in from another source to show your game schedule for the year. And then settings is where you can go in and really customize a bunch of things like custom tags that you might want to enter in, whether it's custom formations, play calls, or custom things that you want to code yourself, as well as statistics, stat sheets, additional things that you want to do. The top right is where you can go into your account information and adjust your username, your password, your email address, as well as notifications on things that are getting sent to you. If you are the, the coach or the administrator on the account, this is where you'll also see your subscription and your invoices. If you're an athletic director or you're a, an analyst that is managing a bunch of accounts, when you first log in, you'll actually see a list that looks like this. 
This shows you a list of all the accounts that you're managing. So typically like an AD at a school will have this login. You'll see all the teams and then you can switch to into any of those teams. Right. So here, let's do that. Let's go into this main account and I now see that view of that coach. If I want to go back, I can click on my name, switch teams, and it takes me back to that list. Now, when you need help, the bottom right here is a help bubble. This allows you to click in and you can start typing any topic of something you want to find help on. It'll show you a list of topics in the help area that you can either read upon, watch, or you can live chat with one of our support agents. Other ways to get in contact with support are you can call in this number 612-351-3844 and you can talk to one of our reps to be able to get in touch with or put in a ticket for additional help. You can email us support at vidswap.com or again use that little chat bubble on the bottom right there. Also, we have mobile apps, so be sure on iOS to go to the App Store. You can download the VidSwap app, as well as the Google Play Store. You can download VidSwap. Two huge apps that a lot of our assistant coaches and athletes really use quite a bit. Now, let's quickly jump into a topic around rosters. Probably the most important thing that everybody needs to do starting out. So a typical first thing is maybe if you're an AD, right? We give you your login, you're logging in and you're seeing this list of teams. So we do need to create all of your teams for you and we'll provide you a form that you can fill out all the teams that need to be created. Once they're there, you can log in and then you can switch into each sport, each one of your teams, and you can add your coach just by going to the roster. You go to the roster, go to the coaches, and simply click the plus and start adding their first name, their last name, and then their email address. And then you can submit. That will send an invitation to your coach. It'll show like this. It'll say invitation has been sent. You can resend the invite. Or if you have to change the email address, you can click here and change that. When you do this, I highly recommend you tell your coaches you've done that. Sometimes these emails are junked and spam, so they may not see them. So they may need to go into their spam or junk folder and look for that. These are sent from a notifications at vidswap.com email. Now, once you've done that, your coach will be able to get logged in and then start to take over the account. Then the coach can go in to the roster, go to athletes, and start putting in all of their athletes just by clicking the plus and then going through, entering the first name, the last name, the email address of your athlete, graduation year, jersey numbers, and then the seasons that they're a part of your team, positions they play, and it's really important to give them permissions. Now, a common error is that a coach will put in a player, not give them any permissions. So when the player logs in, they don't see anything. So if you want to give your players access to video and schedules and highlights, all of those, be sure to check all of these things that you want them to be able to see. And then click Submit. That will send an invite out to your players. Again, remind them that that email is coming through. It might get junked or spam, so they may not see it. Once they're in, they will look like this. They'll be active, and then they'll be able to start getting logged in, and then using the apps to start seeing everything inside of vidswap.com. Now, if you're using a Pixelot camera, one of the things that we will do is link your Pixelot camera to your account so videos will start to automatically go into the exchanges area usually that's kind of what we're doing at the high school level is we're putting all of 
those cameras connected to the exchange uh, area. So that way then when you go to any other school that has a Pixelot camera, they're all gonna be in here. So you're gonna see all your games listed there. And then if you're using this for practice video, your practice video will go into your private videos area where nobody else can see these. And then you can go to the top here. This drop down shows you the different seasons as well as the games, practices, or other types of video. Now let's talk about uploading because a really common thing that you're going to need to do is you might be taking video from Huddle from crossover from another place and want to upload them into the system. All you got to do is when you get logged in, go to upload video, and then it takes you through a wizard of what you're uploading. So let's say we're uploading video that I downloaded from previous seasons. I'm going to do a private video. Click next. This might be a home game. Click next. And then I'm going to fill in the information here. I'm going to start putting in who and who. So let's just say this was pixel out. Let's say we were blue. I'm going to choose the opponent. Put in a jersey color. I'm going to choose the game date. We'll say today. Pick a game time. I'm going to choose the season. So this could be a previous season, right? I'm not selecting any kind of a breakdown. Most of you won't have credits for that. Previous season games do not get broken down unless you want to buy that from us and have previous seasons broken down. And then you can click next. And now it takes you through the wizard of every step to get your video uploaded. This next step is typically for games where we're breaking them down. This is where you might set who's in the game, who's starting, who your substitutions are. We can skip this step on uploading previous video. I'm gonna upload this video because I'm taking it from another source. Again, maybe it was from Huddle or Crossover or something else. Click Next. And now I'm gonna select the videos that I'm gonna upload. So we're gonna add an angle. We're going to add that first angle. So let's just, we'll add this uh, one video here. Click open. Now it's going to drop that video into the list. And then I can press upload and walk away and it's going to finish. Now understand that when you upload, make sure your computer doesn't fall asleep on you. If it falls asleep, it'll kill the upload. That's what all of this text is kind of reminding you about. If you're adding multiple files, let me show you real quickly. If I'm adding multiple files here, Let's cancel that. Let's do, so if I'm selecting multiple clips here, it drops them both in if they're not in the right order. Because maybe you're uploading a football game. You can upload the 150 clips, drop them in, and then you can drag and drop and reorder them just like this and then upload. The order that they're in this list here is the order that they're going to be in when they upload onto vidswap.com. Okay. Well, that's everything that I want to cover today on this quick tutorial. I really appreciate your time and welcome to vidswap.com.